Hey everyone, welcome back to the E-Trade tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be learning how to place OCO bracket orders on the E-Trade mobile app. You guys may also know this as a take profit and stop loss order or a one cancels the other order, but it's all the same thing. It's basically just a way to have both an order to close you out at a certain profit target while also trying to protect you against excessive losses all at the same time. Now in this video today, we're gonna go over how you guys can do this on a position you already hold in your account, as well as doing it as a part of an opening trade on something you haven't even bought yet. I'm also gonna touch on how you guys would do this on an options contract as well, but it's basically just the same exact process. Now jumping right into it and starting off with first a position you already hold in the account, in order to do that, we do need to come over here to the portfolio page. So go ahead and click on the second tab at the bottom there. From there, we can then see all of the positions in my account right now. You can see I've got positions on Coin, on Microsoft, and on Square. Now for this first example, let's go ahead and use Square as the example. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on SQ right there. As soon as I do, you can see it opens up my positions page, telling me I currently have 50 shares of Square that I bought at 126.75 each. At the moment, you can see Square has gone against me quite a bit. It's currently trading at 106.52, so I'm down about $20 a share currently. But let's say I wanted to protect myself while also trying to lock in some profits. So let's say I wanted to protect myself in case it ever dropped below 90. So I wanted to stop myself out at 90 while also trying to take profit if it ever jumped up to, let's say, 150. So what I'm going to do is come down here and click on the close button in the lower left hand corner. As soon as I do, it takes me to an order ticket to close out my entire position on Square. In order for me to turn this into an OCO bracket order, there are actually two different methods that I could follow. The first is by clicking on the order type, right there where you see the word limit. If I were to click on that, you can see all of the different order types available to me, but more importantly, at the bottom, you can see a subsection marked conditionals. Right in the list there, you're gonna see one that says OCO, one triggers OCO, and quote trigger. When you're already in the position, we already have the shares that we wanna get out of, you're gonna click on OCO. If you don't yet own the shares yet, you're gonna do one triggers OCO. So in my case with this one, I already have 50 shares of Square, so I would click on the OCO option. But just to show you the other way that you could do this, we're actually gonna exit out of this by clicking on the X button in the upper left-hand corner. And we're gonna go through it with the second method, which is actually looking down a little bit and finding the Add Conditional Order button. If you were to click on that, you're gonna see those same three options separated out there, OCO, One Triggers OCO, and Quote Trigger. Like I said before, since we already hold the position on Square, we're gonna click on the one that says OCO, the first one at the top there. As soon as I do that, you can see I now have two separate order tickets down below. I've got one as a limit order and one as a stop order. Now, keeping in mind what I said before, I said I wanted my profit target to be 150 and my stop to be 90. So I'm gonna come up to the first part, part one there, and change the limit order from 106.13 all the way up to 150. Now that I got that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done, and I'm gonna change the time and force from a day order to a good until cancel order. So I'm clicking on that and changing it to GTC here. Next up, I'm gonna be setting the stop, and in this case, I'm setting the stop activation price to $90 a share. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the price box right there and type in 90 bucks and hit done. Now, currently the way I have this order set up right now is basically saying sell those 50 shares if Square ever goes up to 150 a share because I want to take that profit off the table. But also if Square ever drops down to 90, get me out of this thing because I don't want to lose any more money. Whichever one of those orders fills first, it's going to automatically cancel the other order. Hence the name, one cancels the other. Now, if I actually wanted to place that, I would simply hit the preview button in the lower right hand corner. As soon as I do that, you can see that it brings up the confirmation box, just confirming everything looks right. I do want to sell those 50 shares at a 150 limit price or get stopped out at 90. If I actually wanted to send this, everything looks right in this order confirmation, I would again hit send order down at the very bottom. Once we do that, you can see it takes me to an order confirmation screen, just saying that my order has been submitted. And if I wanted to adjust that, I could just do it right from this screen but if I wanted to back out of this, the other way is by simply coming down here to the menu button in the lower right hand corner. From there, you can see a whole bunch of tabs, a bunch of different menu items, but we're actually gonna go to the order screen. So seeing it right there in the center, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And right there, we can see my order that has been queued up. My order to sell those 50 shares at 150 or get stopped out at 90. If you decide to change your mind and you just wanna outright cancel that order, you no longer want that OCO to be active, you could always just swipe to the left on it, just following the instructions right there above, swipe left on order to modify. And once I do that, you can see a big red cancel button there. 
So if I wanted to cancel this OCO bracket, I didn't want it to work anymore. I'm just gonna hit cancel order right there. It's then just gonna confirm that you actually do wanna cancel the order. In my case, I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes here. Now that first example was how you create an OCO bracket on a position you already hold in the account. And remember, just as a reminder, we were on the positions page. We found the thing that we wanted to close and we simply clicked on it. We then would look in the lower left-hand corner and hit the close button. From there, we would then click on the add conditional order button and select OCO at the very top there. Once you've got that, you would then select your limit price that you wanna sell it for for a profit taking order or set your stop loss at the price that you wanna get stopped out at. So hopefully that answers all your questions about creating OCOs on positions you already hold. Let's next go over how you do it on something you haven't even bought yet. So to do that, one way is by simply coming down to the quotes button. It looks like a little triangle at the very bottom. From there, when I click on it, you can see some of the stocks I most recently viewed. But in my case, I wanna search for a different stock ticker. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the search button here. For this example, let's say we actually wanted to buy some shares of SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in SPY up there and click on it in the list, very top one up there. Once I do that, we can see a nice little SPY stock profile page. But in my case, I'm just gonna come down to the trade button in the lower right hand corner. Once I click on that, you can see it automatically creates an opening trade to buy me 50 shares of SPY. For this one, I actually wanna create an OCO bracket order following the opening trade. So what I'm actually gonna do is come down here to the add conditional order button, the same one that we used before. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. As soon as I do, that same menu that we saw before comes right up, but this time we're gonna click on the one that says one triggers OCO. Because remember, we're saying first off, we need to buy the shares. That's gonna be the trigger. That order is then gonna trigger the OCO bracket order to go out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. One triggers OCO. From there, you can then see three separate order tickets down below. Part one is my opening trade. Part two is gonna be my profit taking order and part three is gonna be my stop loss order. So let's just go through this step by step. Let's say I wanted to buy 10 shares of SPY if it ever dropped down to 430. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the share quantity here and change it to 10 shares and hit done here. Next up, I'm gonna change the limit price from 431.49 all the way down to 430 and hit done. For this one, I'm actually gonna leave it as a day order. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. But moving on to part two, we're gonna put in our profit taking order. And in this case, I do need to flip it back over to 10 shares because we only have 10 shares to sell. I'm also gonna set my profit taking order as let's say 440. If SPY ever goes up to 440, I wanna sell it for a profit. For this one, I'm actually gonna change the time and force from a day order to a good until cancel order. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over. Now, finally, I need to set the stop loss target. So first off, put the 10 share quantity in here. And for the stop, I'm actually gonna make it, let's just say 420. So if it ever drops 10 points, drops down to 420, I wanna get out of this thing. And there we go. We now have the first triggers OCO bracket order here. We're saying I first off wanna buy 10 shares of SPY if it ever drops down to 430. If that buy order ever fills, if I'm actually able to buy those 10 shares for 430, I'm automatically gonna put out an order to sell it for 440 or get stopped out if it drops down to 420. Whichever one of those two sell orders fills first, it's automatically gonna cancel the other sell order. Now, if you actually wanna place this, everything looks right, we'll go ahead and hit the preview button in the lower right-hand corner. From there, it'll just like before, just give you a nice little confirmation of exactly what we did on that previous screen, just confirming that we filled everything out right. If we did, everything looks good, we'll just hit send order down below. Just like before, it'll simply tell you that the order has been sent, and if we wanna check on that, we could always exit out of this. And then to check the status of the order, we'll go down to the menu button in the lower right hand corner, three little dots. From there, just like before, we're gonna find the orders tab right in the center of our screen. Now that we clicked on it, we can see that opening trade to buy the 10 shares of SPY at 430, and we can see the stop and limit order that trigger after that trade is filled. If you wanna cancel it, you'd just do the exact same thing as before. You'd swipe left on the order and then hit cancel and then confirm that you wanna cancel the order. But that's pretty much it. It might take a little bit of practice to get the hang of it, but creating OCO bracket orders in here is actually pretty easy. Now, like I said before, I told you I'd do this on an option contract as well, so we will do it, but it is the exact same process. So let's just go over it on a position I already hold. So I'm gonna go back up here to the positions page. And in my case, you can see I've got an option on Coinbase. So let's just go ahead and click on coin there. And in my account, you can see I've got one of the March 2022 155 puts. You can see there that I paid $10.50 for it and it's currently trading for $6.45. Let's say I wanted to get stopped out of that thing if it ever dropped down to three bucks. 
And also, if it ever went up to 15, I wanted to sell it for a profit. So what I'm gonna do is actually come down to the close button, just like before. Go ahead and click on that. From there, it's gonna take me to an order ticket to close out this long put option. And just like in all the previous examples, I'm gonna come down here to add conditional order. Go ahead and click on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on OCO, the very top one. Once I do that, I'm gonna have both a limit order and a stop order to get me out of this options contract. If I remember correctly, I said my profit taking order was gonna be 15 bucks a contract. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that price there, which currently is $6.40. And I'm gonna change it to 15 and hit done. I'm also gonna go ahead and change it from a day order to a good until cancel order. And now that I got that out of the way, we'll go ahead and set the stop target. In my case, I wanna get stopped out if this contract ever drops down to three bucks a contract. So clicking on the price there, $6.40, we'll go ahead and type in three and hit done. Just like in the previous examples, if I actually wanted to place this, if I actually wanted to submit this OCO bracket, I would simply hit preview and then send the order. But as you guys can see, it is the exact same process for options contracts. You're gonna do the exact same thing both ways. And really that should be enough to get you guys off to a good start and get you guys comfortable placing OCO bracket orders yourself on the E-Trade mobile app. If you guys do have some questions for me, feel free to leave them down below. And if you guys are looking for other tutorial videos on the E-Trade app, be sure to check out my E-Trade tutorial playlist. There's tons of great videos in there, tons of great info, so be sure to check them out. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you guys on the next video.